Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. Now we have seen a lot of crazy things happen over the last three years, insanely crazy things. But one thing that gets me every single time is how brand new scientific definitions emerge out of the blue without any consensus, without any discussion, without any debate, because that is how the science works nowadays, isn't it? And we all know what's really going on here. Our institutions, which are completely in bed with big business, they want to drive a certain narrative. And if you control language, then you have a better chance of controlling the population. But I know most of you here who watch my videos are wise to the ways of the world. You are awake and you are red-pilled. I have worked as a doctor in many different places. I've worked in different countries and in the United States. I've worked up and down the East Coast. And I've seen lots of different types of organizations, and I really do have a passion for the traditional practice of medicine. Obviously, I did go to medical school, and medical school in itself is a fairly rigorous process, as it should be. And I really believe in real medicine and science, as we once knew it. But I do feel very, very sorry now, and I fear for the current generation of medical students and younger physicians who are coming through the system, because they are being taught by political activists. It has nothing to do with real medicine and science. Political activists, wokeism, extreme woke ideology, has taken over medical education. And we've seen this reflected over the last two to three years. And I'm sad to say very few physicians have stood up to this ridiculousness. But I challenge any practicing doctor out there, whether you've been in practice for two years or 20 plus years, had you ever heard of any of these terms pre-2020? <music> hybrid immunity, hybrid immunity. Now I've heard of hybrid vehicles, hybrid cars are all the rage, but hybrid immunity? I've never heard of that before, that's a new one right there. Breakthrough infection. Again, I practiced medicine for a few years. I never heard of this term. You've got a breakthrough infection, a breakthrough infection. And while we're on the subject, asymptomatic infection is all the rage as well. And I'd barely heard of that term before. What, you have an infection, but you have no symptoms? You're asymptomatic, but you are infected. Wow, this now applies to, I guess, millions of people. You have an asymptomatic infection. And take a look at this one. What an interesting term. Under jabbed. You are under jabbed. You haven't had enough jabs. Again, pre-2020, never heard this term before. And how about this one here on my left? I recently saw a social media communication from our top public health agency in the United States using this term. If you have any questions, you must ask your I prefer the term jabinator. I think it sounds more like terminator. We're getting into movie territory here. And what about mild myocarditis? Of course, every doctor learns about myocarditis, inflammation of the heart in medical school. And I'd seen sporadic cases over the years, always described as myocarditis. I had never ever heard of it being described as mild myocarditis. And I've worked with hundreds of cardiologists and you either have myocarditis or you don't. I hadn't ever heard it described in varying degrees, but I guess now mild myocarditis is a new term that is in widespread use by our institutions. And how about this one, sudden adult death syndrome. Of course, we've all heard of sudden infant death syndrome, a very tragic phenomenon, which has been well known for a long time. And I've heard of sudden cardiac arrest. I have heard of other sudden death syndromes. They're all very tragic, but I've never heard the widespread use of the term sudden adult death syndrome. And it is being used to describe what we've seen across many Western countries reported by various governments, excess deaths, and in some cases, they are being described as sudden adult death syndrome. There you go then, some of the new definitions which have emerged out of the blue, because that is how the science works now. We just pluck out of thin air these new definitions. Our institutions put out these terms and then people start using them. Our institutions, many of which are completely and utterly corrupt and are in bed with big business, as I said, and they have their own agenda for driving new terminology. But what's worse than this 
is the silence of doctors. I'm not one of them. I've been calling this out since the very beginning. You don't just invent new terms out of the blue and change definitions. That is not how medicine and science works. It is an insult to people who believe in real medicine and science. But I guess now this passes for completely normal behavior. Let's just invent a new term. Dear oh dear. That's all I've got to say about that. Can you think of any other terms which have been invented out of the blue that I didn't go over that are new over the last three years? Feel free to comment down below. Thanks everyone for listening. Do check out my online school and my uncensored platform. Those links are down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button to be notified with more videos in the future. Have a great weekend everyone and we will speak again in the next video.